we've seen how easy it is to create a table on Teradata. Create table, table name, open paren, list the columns and their data types, close paren, give it a primary index. But in this case, we're being much more specific. We're actually listing the data block size. And what Teradata does is it allows data to be stored in blocks and those blocks continue to grow until they reach a maximum data block size and then they split and then they grow some more till they reach the maximum data block size. This is the default that is set at the system level but you can set it as we have done here to say listen I want this to be the data block size. You see, if you've got decision support queries that need to read millions of rows to make a decision for analysis, you want large blocks. You just let this default. But if you're doing a lot of quick transactions, writing one record, reading one record, you may want to have smaller block sizes. And this data block size will allow you to do that per table. Here you can see I have added the free space equals 20%. What that means is, is that when you go to load this table on an AMP, it's going to load the data in data blocks inside cylinders. If you're using a fast load or a multi-load, it says leave about 20% of that space free. So when I do other inserts during the day, it still has room to fill up. Now this means multi-load or fast load, or if you're using the new TPT utilities, that is load or update, and that's where this will apply. Any of those load utilities will reserve 20% of each one of those cylinders so that additional inserts and updates can take place without filling up the cylinder and having to go to another cylinder. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. If you have questions, we have answers. Check out coughingdw.com for some great offers on our training books. Unleash the genius within. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.